Hello and welcome back everyone. Today what we are going to discuss is about the clinical symptoms and laboratory diagnosis of E. coli. We have already discussed about its morphology, viral factor and pathogenesis in part 1 of E. coli. Now we will only focus on the clinical symptoms and laboratory diagnosis. So here are some clinical manifestations of E. coli are given. E. coli is the causative agent of diarrhea, UTI and some other infections that include abdominal infection, pneumonia, osteomyelitis, meningitis. Okay. Uh, it is the most common cause of abdominal infection. Uh, it can cause both primary bacterial peritonitis and secondary bacterial peritonitis. Next thing is UTI and diarrhea. Uh, the one thing that I want to include here is कि जो E. coli है हमने उसे divide कर दिया है according or on the basis of the disease it is producing. For example, अगर वो UTI cause कर रहा है तो जो strains E. coli की UTI cause करती है उन्हें हमने एक अलग से नाम दे दिया that is Europathogenic E. coli और जो strains E. coli की diarrhea cause करती है उन्हें हमने एक अलग से नाम दे दिया that is Diarrhogenic E. coli और इनका अब जैसे पर्सन है अगर यूटीआई से वो सफर कर रहा है तो उसका लेबोरेटरी डायग्नोसिस अलग होगा और अगर एक पर्सन है डायरिया से सफर कर रहा है तो उसका लेबोरेटरी डायग्नोसिस अलग होगा इसलिए इन दोनों का डायग्नोसिस हम पार्ट 3 और पार्ट 4 वीडियो में पढ़ेंगे अभी जो हम पढ़ रहे हैं वो है सिर्फ लेबोरेटरी डायग्नोसिस ऑफ ई कोलाई द जनरल लेबोरेटरी डायग्नोसिस ऑफ ई कोलाई सो लेट्स गो थ्रू इट हियर इज द लेबोरेटरी डायग्नोसिस गिवन what we study in the laboratory diagnosis is sample collection, gram staining, culture media, culture smear and motility testing, biochemical test and antimicrobial susceptibility testing. First we will go through the sample collection. Okay. So sample is collected according to the disease, according to the infection. For example, if a person is suffering from UTI, then we can collect urine. If a person is suffering from uh, cellulitis then pus and exudates can be collected if a person is suffering from diarrhea then one can collect stools if a person is suffering from meningitis or pneumonia then we can collect CSF or sputum respectively now we will focus on the gram staining uh, in the gram staining E. coli appear as gram negative bacilli straight rods arranged singly and plenty of pus cells are found in the direct smear Next thing is culture media and biochemical test. So yes, first we will go through the culture. E. coli is the aerobe as well as facultative anaerobe. It can grow at 37 degrees Celsius, uh, 37 degrees Celsius and its range, uh, its temperature vary from 10 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. Incubation period is 18 to 24 hours the media that we can use to grow the or to isolate the E. coli are blood agar, McConkey agar and the liquid medium. Now first we will look at the blood agar. So in the blood agar we can see the circular moist grey colonies and beta hemolysis all is also produced in blood agar. Next is McConkey and McConkey we can see the flat and pink colored colonies in the liquid medium in liquid medium uh, liquid medium that are used are peptone water bro broth and it produces uniform turbidity in that next is biochemical test so e coli is the catalase positive and oxidase negative it reduces nitrates to nitrite next thing is given icut test it stands for indole test, citrate test, urease test, TSI that is triple sugar iron agar test. First is indole test. E. coli is positive for indole. It produces cherry red colored ring. Next is citrate test. E. coli is negative because it do, uh, do not utilize the citrate. Next is urease test. E. coli is negative for urease because uh, urea is not hydrolyzed by E. coli. Last is TSI that is triple sugar iron agar. It shows acid gas and H2S is absent. 
next we have is the sugar fermentation test e coli can ferment most of the sugars like glucose mannitol lactose maltose etc but it cannot ferment sucrose and it ferment the above sugars with the production of acid and gas uh, next we have is the mr that is methyl red test e coli is positive for methyl red and negative for vp here some of the diagrams are given you can see the diagram this is the cylinder gram negative bacilli you can see sorry here you can see the cylinder negative gram bacilli the arrows are showing cylinder gram negative bacilli and here you can see the flat pink lactose fermenting colonies okay so this is the end of our video thank you and we will focus on the next video uh, on UTI and the UTI causing agent that is Europathogenic E. coli. Thank you. Have a nice day.